Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I've been gone for a minute. I have, uh, this is the second video I'm filming today. If you want to hear about where I've been and all of that more in detail, I will link my project use it up video above. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. So I know I usually do Friday hauls, but y'all, some of this stuff is uh, from practically two months ago because I've been sick and dealing with um, family health issues, my health issues, and so I just want to do this haul so I can hopefully start reviewing. I had even forgotten some of the stuff I had ordered. This stuff has been, today is, what is today? At least today is February 19th. And I have, I'm just now opening uh, this, these online orders, the boxes, to show you all. And some are from the beginning of January. So I'm like, girl, get this haul so you can um, start reviewing things and, and try to get caught up. Because I am so, so, so far behind when it comes to uh youtube world social media world i'm i'm just behind but you know life happens so what i want to show y'all first it, it's stuff oh i'm glad i touched picked this up so you know i've been starting for the year of 2024 to tell you all what's on my lips it's nothing on my face this is all i have on and to show you how messed up my brain still is I filmed a video earlier this morning. Was it this morning? Yeah. And then I had to take care of some business. And now I'm trying to get this one filmed because I have to go back to I have to go back to work tomorrow. I've been to work like on campus a couple of times. I've been sick, so I've been taking off. Then and and I am dreading it because I don't I still don't feel good. And I still have more important things at work going on in my life, to be honest. But, you know, you got to work. You got to get that check. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Oh, <laughs> I said all that to say I had another pro lip product on my list that I planned to just wear for this video, too. And I don't even know what I've done with it, y'all. I don't know what I've done with it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder did I put it in my purse. I don't know, but what I'm wearing now on my lips is the Dior Lip Oil in 007 Raspberry. And I have not been holding things up close to the camera, so I hope this is up close enough where you can see it. Y'all know I love me some Dior Lip Oils, and that's what I have on my lips. Okay, now let's jump into this haul because I don't want this video to be an hour long because frankly... I don't have the energy to edit something that long. So if you all have been watching my, keeping up with my videos, because I honestly cannot remember which video I hauled these other bags in, but if you can remember, I hauled quite a few bags at one point and I said I was done, except maybe I would get a wallet. So they all went on sale and I decided to get them. Once you see what I, what I hold up, you're gonna know. So I got the Michael Kors patent wallet in the black and gold. I am loving this one. And I used, uh, you know, this is the second time that I know of that this collection has come out in the patent collection from Michael Kors. And I am, I'm, I, I always just like, I don't want the black. And then I'm, I'm now I'm obsessed with it. It's so chic looking. So even though I have another wallet from Victoria's Secret, that's black and gold. And I was like, you don't need this. I tried to talk myself out of this, but it was on sale. And I was like, I just love it. So I got it. <laughs> I did not need it. Now these other two, I justified because I don't have these colors. So I got the gold wallet absolutely love it and you all if i have to i might have to stop because once when i get to talking i get out of breath and i get to coughing 
So, and I also got the rose gold um, wallet in the patent collection. And they the silver was sold out. And I saw on Dillard's like the double, like a true wristlet. Like, even though this comes with a, you know, a wristlet to where you could carry this. Cause at first I was like, these are huge. Cause I just opened them up a couple minutes ago for this video. And I was like, oh my goodness. But then as the more I look at it, I think they're, they're practically the same size. Let me open it up for you as the Victoria's Secret wallets. It may be just a little bit bigger than my Victoria's Secret wallets. But I love them. I love the look of them. And um, what was I saying? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm suffering from brain fog. I'm just struggling. Um, oh, so the the double, like, traditional clutch that they had for a wallet, a wristlet at Dillard's, I was like, I don't know. That, that seems a little chunky. But And I have a gray, like, silver Victoria's Secret wallet that I love. And I just, now if they would have had this style in silver, I would have gotten it too, but even though I didn't need it, just like I didn't need the black one. I didn't need any of this, but I got it. <laughs> and so I left that one there. And then you're like, Shauncee, you should be finished, right? Well, let me tell y'all the story of this. So I was looking, okay. I bought the four satchel bags in this collection and then I bought one gold crossbody bag the, like the flat one the box camera one it's very stiff I don't particularly love that one um and I was like Ugh. then I kept looking at this bag that I, oh let me just hold it up in this color specifically I fell in love with the way this looks a little backpack right now I remember when I was in sixth grade that's when the backpack purses were all the rage and i wore that trend out and after i grew out of it i was like i don't want another backpack now i did you know i saw the, the louis vuitton one that was similar and i was like oh that's cute but is it worth you know a few grand <laughs> no not for me <laughs> and so i was like Meh. and that one kind of tempted me I've never really, you know, some of the Victoria's Secret little, you know, it'd be cute, but it, it wasn't enough to make me buy it. When I saw this bag, I was tempted by it immediately, okay? But I want, I knew I wanted the satchels, so I said, nope, oh well. Because I was like, I'm past the backpack stage of my life. I, I wore it out when, when I was all into the backpack purses. But then... I thought you had to carry this like a backpack. Once I realized you could make this into a crossbody and I saw it was on sale, it was it was all she wrote. I got it. Because it's so I didn't want to wear it like a backpack. I, I don't like that. Not not I just don't. I don't like that for me. And so now I when I saw you could wear it as a crossbody, because I I put it in the YouTube looking at the videos, all the different ways you could wear the little Michael Kors backpacks and they show up the crossbody way. And I said, Oh, that's super cute. So I got this one in the silver, and I also got the black one. And I'm in love with them, y'all. I am absolutely in love. I hope this doesn't make me want to go buy Louis, even though Louis won't get got right now. But um, I love these two bags, and I wish I had gotten this style for a crossbody bag in gold because when I'm going out like all day I'm gonna like okay let's for example semi-annual sale bath and body works and I know I'm gonna be going from store to store I always have crossbody bags a small bag I can't I can't do the, the I can't do the big bags when I'm trying to move around the shop and be, be in a hurry especially in closed stores you know I got hips so I like small bags and I wish I'd gotten the backpack style and the gold, but I already had the other one. So I was like, I'm not getting it because I already bought that one. Even though I don't love it, I didn't want to go through the hassle of returning it. Or even though I could probably give it away to somebody, but I, I just got those two. And rose gold, this color, I never saw in the backpack version of the patent collection because I would have gotten it. I would have gotten it because... 
I didn't get the flat crossbody in rose gold because I just don't, I don't love the way it fits. It's very stiff. Maybe I didn't have it long enough that day. I don't know. I've only carried it once, the one I have. But these backpack ones, I, I'm, I'm obsessed. So if I, if I come across the gold one, let's say I go look on Macy's. I haven't looked. <laughs> they should be all sold out. I would be like, ooh, I'd be tempted because I just don't particularly like the style, the, the feel of the patent leather in the camera back crossbody. Maybe I just have to wear it and loosen it up some. But y'all, before I get into the rest of this, I meant to say at the beginning of the video, you all are have, in a couple of my videos, I have affiliate links for products through YouTube. And if you know my story, I'm not going to say the, the company again, um, because who knows? You never know what can happen. Maybe one day I'll work with them, hopefully, or if not, oh well. But they, I was so discouraged because people were like, why don't you link everything? And I was very honest with you all and said, that's a lot of work. And I'm not doing it with no benefit to me. I, that I... That's just business. That's just because I was like, I know if people don't link their, their stuff in their videos, I be just paying attention, writing down stuff. So I didn't see it as a big deal. And I was going to do that much amount of work without any possibility of something coming back to me. Because that's, that's a lot of work. If you do YouTube or you in social media and you have to do all those links and shit, that's a lot of work in addition to what you already have to do. So the company, when I applied for it, they basically said, well, you don't, you're basically to me, what I felt like they said was you're, you're not good enough. Your channel's not good enough because I was looking at people with way less subscribers than me at that time. And, um, way less views but they were still approved but you're telling me i have more subscribers more views but i'm not good enough so it, it left a bad taste in my mouth and i was and i just didn't fool with it and that was on my list this year to try to find uh, an affiliate link because i still have people asking and then lo and behold the great youtube decided to do it and they don't have like all the links that the uh, other companies provide but they do have a good majority so i wanted to mention that i have started linking those through in the videos and below my videos when you click on them um and i would appreciate that if you're going to buy the products anyway from online if you would like to support me and my channel by using the affiliate links, I would appreciate it. Because, and this is no shade, absolutely none to anyone who does this. But you know how some, and it's a lot, it's huge channels that do this and small channels that do it, where they'll have like cash app or donation app or what, you know, ways for you to donate. I never felt comfortable doing that. I just didn't. And so... Even though I review a lot and give a lot of free <laughs> advertisement, I just was like, I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. But I do feel comfortable saying, click the affiliate link if you're going to order it online. Because, you know, if you're going to order it, it's nothing different. I've done it before um, with other youtubers or if i'm trying to get a code or want to support what they're doing i just one youtuber i can't remember her name she says click click a link and save a life and every time she says i'd be cracking up <laughs> because especially if youtube is your only means of income i she that cracks me up because every little bit helps we all know we all gotta work and so I just wanted to mention that because it's, I think I've done only three videos with it because I had to go through the process to be able to get it through YouTube, which was much easier. I just, I, if YouTube, you want, I appreciate you YouTube for that. I really, really do. And I would really appreciate if you all want to help support uh, my channel and me, me and my channel in that way by clicking on the affiliate links it's a small commission that i would get back 
And you know, it, that's, I just wanted to mention it because I've had people ask me <laughs> and I addressed it in one video. Like, why don't you have the link? So since I'm doing them now, I should have done it in the first video, but I didn't because like I said, 2024 has been <laughs> kicking my butt. So there you go. Um, if, if you would like, if you click on the links to help support me and my channel, I, I really appreciate it because, and this is not to, to say, Oh, you know, put pressure. I'm not trying to put pressure, but everything y'all be seeing, uh, 99.9%. I have not had people reach out for me to, uh, I don't get sent stuff. Let, let me just put it that way. I don't get sent a lot of stuff. So everything is, is my money, honey to review and go over things so i'm out of breath so i wanted to mention that and now we'll move on with the haul so now i'm going to show you what i got from sephora i forgot what i ordered y'all i ordered this i don't know if this is honey or honey but they came out with the good aura body oil i have been wanting to try things from this brand and i just tore the box completely up oh well hope i don't want to return it I've been wanting to try something from this brand for forever. And you know me and body oil. So when they came out with the body oil, I said, I'm going for the body oil. So I got the body oil in that. And my eyes, if y'all have been watching, I've been telling you about my eyes. They have been irritating me. And I was like, oh, I think it's leaving since I'm in, you know, and now they're burning now. So I decided, I saw this on Sephora. This is Skin Fix Eczema Plus Dermatitis Relief Balm. And it says it's safe for your eyes and everything. So I got this. I have used it a couple of times and it does feel good. But I think I'm going to have to like slather this on at night. And I think that'll be the best time for me to wear it. I also let my mom use some of this and she was like, I want to order some for myself because she said it really felt good on her face too. So yeah, I'm going to try this out and we'll try it out more and hopefully it will help me y'all because these eyes are getting on my nerves. I also decided to get the Peace Out Early Stage Acne Dots because for some, I just, during that time of the month is usually when I get acne now occasionally i will get it i don't think it's okay i think i only get it around that time it's when it's coming and when it's ending and i'll get acne so i was like i want to try these out because i'm loving all of the acne dots more than the topical creams any day right now okay i also Y'all should have known this was coming. So when they released these, I ordered them all. These are the Sunday, Friday lip oils. All of them. So I haven't even looked at these, you all. So this is one. And I was like, I need to slow down on the lip products. I'm not saying it. Well, I'm not going to say I'm not going to say it anymore. But you see it's not working. So I got Pink Cloud. I cannot wait to try these. I cannot wait. I love the packaging. Sunday, Friday. Sunday. What is this? Summer Fridays came out with a new lip balm. And I was just trying not to order. Do a, a place an online order. So I'm trying to keep up with it to see what is in stock in store and get that one. This is... What is this one? I can't see. Rosewood Nights. I think this is the first one that sold out when they first came out. And this is, I haven't worn these or anything, you all. This is Blush Dreams. That is so pretty to me. All these are looking really good. And the last one that they came out with is soft mauve and i'm sorry i'm not swatching these but you all should know me by now you know i'm going to be talking about these in another video so just be patient with me you all because i don't i don't have i don't have the energy to be swatching nothing right now y'all i have been loving the sephora lip gloss that i purchased the one that's supposed to look like the 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 pink tongue of a bunny or whatever. I can't remember the name of it, but I will never forget that description. And I have, I've just loved it. Loved it so much that I, <laughs> of course, 
want some more. And this one is in Pump Up, Pump Up It Red, 05. And I don't, this is not like grabbing me looking at it right now. So it must have looked spectacular online for me to get it. And then this one is 02 Inferno. And this does look like my type of color. Just, I don't know. I'm always a sucker for something that looks a little holographic and then this one i felt like i would really like it and this is in xxl nude so these were the other three i got because i have been loving the sephora glosses um so yeah hopefully i won't be tempted to get any more sephora glosses for a minute but i'll tell you what i saw on online that Patrick Ta came out with three new blush shades and glosses. And I will be checking those out because I love the, the Patrick Ta blushes and I do enjoy the glosses. Okay, so you all, I had the Sol de Janeiro Delicia Drench Body Butter in the travel size. I fell in love with it, so I went ahead and got the big size. I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it now because I was getting the spray. I haven't even smelled the spray, y'all. I think this has been sitting in the Sephora box for a month. So I know I'm behind, but people had asked me to talk about this. So I'm still planning to do it because I said I was, even though I'm late. And I know the Sephora spring sale should be coming up in March, I think. So this would be a good time to, you know, if you're making your list of things you want to get with that 20% off. So I was like, I'm going to do it for that reason. And because, you know, I said I was. Okay, now this is, some, okay, this is viral. Y'all know how I feel about that word. I remember I was in Sephora. Because this was in Sephora, but now they're saying it's an online exclusive. And I smell this mist. And I've just, I was not, I didn't think it smelled bad, but I was blown away. Okay. And I passed on it. And then my friend sent me a text saying, oh my goodness. And she had a picture of it. She was like, this is so good. And I said, well, maybe I need to give it a, another try. You know, sometimes you, a lot of times for me, you have to bring things home. You have to try them. And so it was sold out forever because it went viral. And then I was finally able to get it and now it's sold out again. And this is Fleur Vanilla Skin. So I can't wait to really try this out and see if my initial thoughts are the same after I have it home. Because I was like, what am I missing when I sold it in Sephora if this went viral that, I'm, that I didn't get? You know, so I can't wait to try this out and tell you all about it. And I also picked up the um, latest Flower Bomb Flaker in Tiger Lily. I picked up the Travel Spray. I haven't smelled it or anything. I, I can't wait to smell it because it intrigued me. It intrigued me enough to buy full blind by full doggone bottle. But it did intrigue me enough to get the Travel Spray. And this next perfume, I have been trying to get the travel spray. It's been selling out. I think this went viral. So I just said it's not, it's affordable for a fragrance in this day and age. So I decided to go ahead and get the five cents in too deep because it, I just, the notes grabbed me. I've heard great things from uh, YouTubers that I tend to watch. So I decided to get it. I haven't smelled this at all either. So the next fragrance I'm waiting on, I keep checking and keep checking Sephora, is Valentino because I have loved every perfume in the Valentino Born in Roma line and I want to smell it. The other other fragrances that have, that have come out, like, um, it just left me. Oh, what is it? My Way by Armani, The Nectar. Mm. You know, it's, you, it, we're getting a lot of flankers again, or a lot of things we, we've smelled before. So I'm I'm trying to be very particular. I really am I, about what I bring into my collection or, or what I decide to review and keep. 
in my collection depending on how much I like it. So I will, I, that's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. And something, the new one from Seven Virtues, it's a, another vanilla. And then it's a Sniff Perfume Vanilla Vice. And I've never had anything from that brand. So it's a couple, it's not a lot, but the one I really, really, really want to smell, to get that travel spray, see if I want to get a full bottle, is the Valentino uh, something extravaganza. I can't wait to smell that because I've loved all of them. I also got these this Voce Viva sample from Sephora. Y'all know I love that. I've gone through multiple bottles. I have, and they also gave me another reverse K18 uh, hair mask, reverse damage. So I haven't used any of them. I can't wait. It's been on my list, but I forgot about it. Okay, y'all, let me show you what I picked up from Ulta. Not a lot. I saw these two items and I went, oh yes, honey. I've been waiting on you. And then something spilled out in this bag. So... To get, I was trying to get 10 off 50, so I got these clips, which I think are cute. They are cute. And um, I got those from Ulta. And I finally got my hands on the travel size of the New Hemp's Vanilla Luxe. I've been wanting to smell this, so I can't wait to smell it, see how what I think about it. And then this oil right here, that is the one that is leaking. I believe this is from Hemp's. It was on sale. And that's the only reason why I got it. And it is the Hemp Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon um, Bath and Body Oil. I feel like I had this years ago and didn't love it, but I can, I honestly cannot remember for sure. So when I saw it was on sale and I was trying to reach that threshold, um, I said, okay, I'll give it a try. So I did get this. Now, what I really, really wanted, and I should have just, I should just stuck with this and saved some money. But <laughs> I saw, oh my goodness, it's oil. I think it is that oil from Hemp's. Hold on, y'all. Tree Hut has come out with a bunch of new stuff, new scrubs. But y'all, I have so many scrubs that it has to be a scrub that really tempts me. And so far, the tr none of them are just grabbing me yet. Maybe when we get closer to spring, summer, they may. But right now, I'm able to resist. They also came out with some new body washes. The only one I was tempted to get was the vanilla one. But it's getting horrible reviews. So if you all have the new vanilla body wash from Tree Hut, let me know your thoughts. Because that's what I wanted to get. That was the only one I was like, oh, I want to get it because I really enjoy the um, body butter. And it, it would give me the body butter, the scrub, and the body wash. So let me know. But I was like, I'm not doing that. Got one doggone star <laughs> from multiple people. But I've been waiting for this, for Tree Hut to come out with body oils. So y'all, they came out with Ocean Glow Hydrating Body Oil with a pump. Look at this. And how many ounces is this? This is five fluid ounces. I was so excited. And they came out with the Tropic Glow. You know, so this is going to be your Sol de Janeiro body oil dupe. You know, $54, $10. You tell me. Well, I'll tell you when I try it. <laughs> the only thing I'm disappointed with in these oils, and maybe more are coming, I wanted it, them to come out with maybe in rose. Oh my goodness, that would be so pretty. Exotic bloom. I don't know what made them choose the ocean. I know what made them choose this tropic glow, but I just don't know what made them choose ocean. I'm hoping more oils will pop up. So that's everything I got from Ulta. So y'all, I went to Trader Joe's because I saw that they had come out with the full size of the Brazilian Nut Body Oil. I've used this a few times. I be This was under $10. I can't remember how much it was. It was $10 or less than 10 I can't remember. And they came out with this during the holiday season. I missed it. So I was like, oh my goodness, I gotta go get it before it sells out. And um, I'm gonna talk more about it, but you know, this is a dupe again 
for the Sol de Janeiro body oil. So it's like, how many oils do I need with that scent? But I did want to try this one. I love the packaging. I love the pink. And now I'm just waiting on them to come out with the mist so I can really try the whole line from it. And while I was there, my friend had picked up the last time we went there together, she picked up the Trader Joe's coconut body butter and it smells so good that I decided to get one for myself. And if I had been thinking, I would have got my brother one because he, he, I'm a newbie when it comes to really enjoying coconut scents. He's always loved coconut scents. I don't, well, I was rushing on my break. I took a break from work to go to Trader Joe's and, and get this stuff because it's over there by my job. And I just didn't. I just grabbed these two and was gone. I was like, dang, I should have gotten him one. But oh well, I can get him one later. So now I'm going to show you what I picked up from Bath and Body Works. And y'all, I honestly can't remember if I've showed this to you all or not. So bear with me. Like I said, um, this stuff has been sitting and I, I just can't remember. So I will... You're going to have to tell me. It makes me think of Ania when she says, y'all be knowing better than me sometimes. And this is going to be one of the times because I can't remember. And let me show you the ones I can't remember first, just in case you've seen them before. So I did, they had, since I've been gone, they've had two sales of fragrance mist. So this is from the first sale, and I decided to get a, a, another of Sweetheart Cherry. Now, I can't remember if this gives me two full size or three full size, but I did get another Sweetheart Cherry. If you haven't seen my review on that, I will link it above. Check it out. I also got a full size of the Water Lily Springs. And I feel like I got two of these, but maybe I didn't. And I got a full size of Calypso Clementine. If you haven't seen my video where I'm reviewing these fragrances, I will link it above. Check it out. Then recently I had a coupon and I said, well, Shawnee, so you need to, you know, get back to the groove. It's time to start thinking about spring too for Bath and Body Works. Get your video ready. So I had coupons to get free item, travel item. So I paid full price for one of them. So this is Tropidella. And then I got one for free, and this is Thailand Sweet Kiwi and Starfruit in the travel size. Well, then they had, today is the 19th, so 18th Sunday, they had this five, well, they had a 595 sale Saturday or Sunday or one of the days. And I said, well, let me hurry up and smell these and see if I want a full size. So I did, oh, I did get two Water Lily Springs. Here it is, y'all. I thought I got two of those. Um, just to make sure I had a backup because I loved it so much. So I did decide to get the full size during the $5.95 sale. So this was all I purchased during the $5.95 sale at uh, Bath and Body Works. It took place, I think, Saturday or Sunday, y'all. And shockingly, I purchased two candles. I purchased the Cherry Blossom Pound Cake Candle because when I was picking up my bogus order for these items... I smelled it and fell in love. Oh my goodness. This smells so good. Because the candles were $14.95 and I had a 20% off. This has cherry blossom, whipped pound cake, and vanilla frosting. It just smells delicious. Like if you like sweet petal pound cake, that candle. If you like the body care of... Y'all couldn't remember the name of it. Hold on. What's the name of it? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. The one that came out that everybody thought was going to be Sweet Petal Pound Cake. Yeah, whatever that one. <laughs> if you like those, then you would like this candle. Now, I haven't burned it, so I don't know how it's going to throw. And the packaging is super cute. And I also picked up Main Street Bakery. And this has notes of fresh banana, vanilla wafers, and cinnamon sugar. Oh, and it, just, it, it reminds me of banana pudding. So I got these two candles and I was trying not to spend too much money or I would have gotten, you know, I don't know if I would have gotten two of these because sweet scents I can get tired of. But this, it's that, I don't know, it's something about this one on coal I really, really enjoy. So maybe at the next candle sale, I might get another one. So that's everything from Bath and Body Works. 
So y'all, Dog is Aroma came out with body sprays. It came out with two that I know of. This one is Nilly Vanilli, I guess. I think this is the one that's supposed to be a, a dupe of K. Ali Vanilla 28. And then this one is Cherry Shock. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's, not Lost Cherry, because it was Lost Cherry. I was like, I don't want it. But it was one of the newer cherry fragrances he came out with, Electric Cherry or something. So I got the, these two to tell you all my thoughts on them. Because no matter, you know, people have been putting down fragrance mist. Uh, for a minute on social media, but look at all these companies coming out with fragrance mist, perfume mist. This started in 2023, and it, you know, these upper brands, you know, Fleur, and the, you know, so look at them coming out with them, and I, I'm just curious to see how many more we're gonna get. And I also got a sample of Delicious Dreams perfume because this is supposed to be a dupe of some uh dior perfume that's that's not your designer dior the um the more expensive dior i can't think of the correct name <laughs> to say so i can't remember which one but when i talk about it then you know you'll know for sure but i was like oh my goodness i really want to try that because you know i'm not paying that price for dior right now when i can't i'm not blind buying it for that price so yeah that was everything i got from dog is aroma and they're having a sale um starting today that i think ends the 23rd where you get 20 percent off because they've been in business 70 70 oh my, seven years so i everything i've gotten from dog is aroma i have not had any issues with the shipping the products nothing so if um if you're interested, I just wanted to let y'all know this is the week that you can order for 20% off. I haven't looked to see if they've dropped anything new, but I plan to. Okay, y'all, what am I going to talk about now? So now, let's do hygiene. Tis the season for new hygiene products. So this is from Walmart. And it's, it's quite a... A lot of body washes that came out, but I was like, I'm not getting all these doggone body washes. So let's do the first bag. So Dove came out with two body washes like this that I know of, that I've seen so far. It's the blueberry and moon milk and the white peach and rice milk. And I haven't smelled these, so let's smell them. So far, this is, I'm not, this smells nice. You know, I when I saw this, I was like, is it going to smell like the Caress Peach Silk, whatever it's called. And I think it is somewhat similar, but that was way more potent. So that's nice. And then the Blueberry and Moon Milk. just smells like a fruity candy like scent so i don't know you all if these are blowing me away but you know you have to use them in the shower but i won't be doing separate reviews on these because i've reviewed all of dove all of olay the formula hasn't changed it's just the scent so from what i can tell now if you like the caress peach silk i think it's the name of it you're gonna like the dove white peach and rice milk if you like fruity body washes kind of sweet candy if you like uh blueberry type berry you're gonna like this body wash okay i also picked up two scrubs from uh dove because i love them and i've been missing this one the crushed macadamia and rice milk i wanted it back in my collection because i love it and they can't, this is the new scrub the white peach and crushed rice body scrub that matches the body wash and i was trying to get the bar soap but the the new bar soaps i can't find in my area the the bare you know it's three like separate bar soaps that's like six dollars a piece i wanted to try them can't find them in my area i can't find the matching bar soap to this either 
which after smelling it, I think I'm good because I have the Caress Bar Soap. Yeah, this is, if you have to like peach, y'all know I'm picky with peach. I don't, I don't like dislike this, but I'm not obsessed with it as of yet because I haven't used it. You know, you got to use this stuff in the shower. I think I have some more from Dove. Hold on. I had another bag and it was all full of Dove stuff. It was a separate order because I was, these weren't in stock. So Dove came out with body washes that look like this, but you all, oh, I meant to bring one in here. Oh, I do have one sitting over here from another video. <laughs> if you have these body washes, check them because they haven't said this. I haven't heard anyone say it, but from looking at some of the, what these body washes do in this packaging, some of these are just repackages. So if you have like the whole collection of these body washes from Dove, like I do, check them before you go and purchase uh, these new package ones. Cause they do have some new ones in this packaging, but they also have some repackages of the, these in there too. So I just wanted to mention that because these I think are $10. All this stuff went up, shocking. So these are the two that I wanted to try. This is the Melanin Even Tone um, Body Wash from Dove. And, you know, I just wanted to try it basically because it said Melanin and Even Tone. This is an exfoliating body wash, which, ooh. Well, it looks like somebody opened this. It just has a warm kind of basic scent. Nothing like wow in the scent but you know it's supposed to i just wanted to try because it says melanin you know and i wanted to see what it did for my skin and this other one it's melanin radiance so i don't know y'all because i do have another one that says radiance but it doesn't say melanin so I said, these are the only two i'm going to get right now mm, neither one of them i'm like blown away by the scent they don't smell bad but i'm not like wow they smell so good but these are the only two I wanted to try right now from this collection because I have all those other ones. So I wanted to try the melanin. So I got, okay, where am I going to put them, y'all? My little desk is full, full to the field, to the brim with stuff. So I got those to try. And I also decided to try the deep exfoliating bar soap. Because this is new, I I think I used up all of my blue exfoliating bar soap, the gentle. So I said I'll give this a try, see what I think about it. And now that I've smelled the peach, I don't think I'm gonna go hunting for that peach soap from Dove. But I do want to try those bars that you you buy one bar separately. It's not a pack. I do want those soaps, but I just can't find them anywhere in my area. It's, it's, I found some that's a little ways to drive, but like I said, I'm not, I'm not feeling good. I'm not hundred percent. So I looked, I said, do I want to drive all that way for some soap when I got soap? And the answer was no. So I, I can, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait them out. And this is going back. Now I saw this is the, the Dove Teens Vanilla Cupcake. I was watching somebody's video and I was like, oh, I want to get that. I did not know it was aluminum free. Aluminum free does nothing for me, and I'm not keeping this. But let's smell it. Yeah, I thought it's, it would smell like uh, the sugar cookie uh, deodorant from Native, and that's aluminum free too. And I was like, oh, I think I can get that same vibe from this. And it's along that vibe, but it's aluminum free too. And like I said, aluminum free does absolutely nothing for me. So it's going back. Cause I didn't realize it. And y'all Dove came out with a whole body deodorant in, in invisible cream and coconut and vanilla. So I saw this and immediately thought of Lumi. I've never tried Lumi. I still haven't tried it because I keep hearing, depending on what scent you get, that it doesn't smell good, that it works, but it doesn't smell good. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> so if y'all know of a Lumi scent that you've tried, 
that were it was a coconut vanilla i was watching the glam twins i think they were talking about the lumi one that that one smells so good but i saw this from dove i said it's new i'm gonna try it so i can let you all know my thoughts on it so i'm excited about this they also had it in a stick but you can put this everywhere so i was thinking how am i going to let's say if i wanted to use it on my downstairs area to try it out because it says when i if i remember reading it correctly that it's safe for there also just like lumi i said well i'm not i don't want to be you know wipe so i was like let me <laughs> how am i gonna disinfect the uh because you put it on your behind everywhere i said how am i gonna disinfect the stick so I was like, no, I'm going to get the cream. So I got the cream and I'm excited to try that. So that's everything I got from Dove. And the only other thing that's on my list to try from Dove from the new releases, because it are those bar soaps. Because um, usually what, what I like about the drugstore, they'll come out with so much stuff at once. And then you're waiting until usually winter. They may come out with a little something at summer, but usually spring, summer is like they push it all out. And then you have to pick out what you want because it'll disappear. That's what I've noticed about drugstore products. So for now, for Dove, I feel like I'm good. Now, Olay came out with quite a few new body washes. They came out with the body washes, uh, I think one or two in this packaging. But it was, one was salicylic acid, one was uh, BHA, AHA, whatever the A's are. And I was like, no, I want to use up some more of these before I try that. Because I've tried them all, I know they're good. And I've talked to them, talked to them, talked to you all about them. So I left that there. <sighs> this is Vanilla Blossom and a Apricot. This is the only one I was tempted to get. They came out with a berry one, but I was like, I have other berry ones. Use them up. Then I want to try this one. But I have, I don't know. I just, this one, I want to try. So let's see if, it's, if it smells good. It does. It smells like a light floral type of citrus vanilla it's not blowing me away right now but again with some body washes especially with my sense of smell right now i i'm gonna have to use it in the shower but i'm not disappointed i got this at all this one didn't really go up in price too too much from what i remember because it's still under ten dollars because so many of them are ten up uh, ten dollars and up now and i'm like y'all crazy like this one so this is the other whole new line olay came out with this I don't know what makes this so different, but it says Olay Indulgent Moisture Notes of Rose and Cherry Cream. This is $13. How many ounces is this? 20 ounces. So, it's, you know, but I was like, what? And they came out with a bunch of these. I said, oh, no, honey, we're going to get one so I can try it out. And this is one because it's new. Like, I don't know what's supposed to be special about this formula. I really don't. But this is totally new packaging, new design, new line from Olay. And, and I said, well, I'll, try, I'll get one. <laughs> and see what, you know, what it's talking about. So let's smell this. It does smell good. It smells like a cherry floral. Uh, yo, cherry rose. So it does. It smells heavily of rose and a little cherry. So we'll see you all if this is worth $13. I will definitely be getting back with you all on that. Because it was other uh, fragrances since in this line that grabbed my attention. But I said, uh-uh. No. I'm not getting a whole bunch of doggone drugstore body wash for $13. When I got all this body wash to use up. <laughs> but I said, I'll get one. And let y'all know about it. So that's the one. Okay. The last bag. I hope this is the last bag. Because I can feel that this video is, is going to be a monster to edit. Because I feel like it's super long. Last bag is from Target. Y'all should know what's coming. Y'all should know what's coming. So I have the Mix Bar. Mix Bar came out with two new perfumes. So I picked up both of them. This is Mix Bar Passion Fruit Nectar. So we will be, I'll be talking about these soon. 
I also picked up the, I can't see the name of this one. Oh, they have scratch and sniff on here now. I did a drive up order, y'all know me. Salt petals. This is the one I'm really excited to smell. Everybody that I've watched videos when they've been talking about smelling them was the passion fruit and I'm excited about the salt petals. And Finery came out with seven, I believe, new perfumes and fragrances. So I purchased all of the perfumes, all of the fragrance mists because this is a lot. The, the perfumes are $30 a piece. I wasn't ready to pay that much money to talk about them. But I have talked to, reviewed all of the finery fragrances before and I with the mist. I know the mist smell exactly like the perfume. So I was like, I'm just going to get the, perfume, the fragrance mist, review them for you all, and then see if I want to purchase a perfume of any of them. I haven't smelled any of this. So the first one I have here is Without a Trace. This is the new Rouge. Next is Mysterious Nomad. This bottle is so pretty. This is Born to Impress. I love that pink color. And this is the one that's breaking the internet. This is Pistachio Please. next one is mystic figures and the last one is madam or madame i like the color of that bottle too so y'all i will i'm gonna i'm behind and i'm running on usually i'm running on no energy anyway you know i told y'all i've had that problem i haven't even made it to the doctor yet but now since i've you know contracted uh, I, like, I still don't know if you can say it on YouTube, so I'm going to spell it C-O-V-I-D for the first time and recovering. I, I'm just, I, everything exhausts me. So I'm going to try to start getting my videos out, reviewing, trying uh, out the, the new fragrances. So y'all just be patient with me. And I hope to get this out sooner rather than later, unless something else, you know, bad happens. And I'm just keeping it real. So if y'all enjoyed this long Tuesday haul video, that's what I'm hoping to put to post this. Please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me, have you all been getting the new spring uh, items that's coming out. Are you excited? What what perfume are you excited to smell? It's so much coming out right now. It's like boom, 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 boom. Everywhere you look, it's, it's new stuff coming out that can be overwhelming and very detrimental to your wallet. So <laughs> let me know what you all are interested in. I would love to know. Please share this video with everybody because we are still trying to keep it growing over here, honey. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye